me for the first time. Got me, wow. My favorite, favorite. from Ayutthaya, the former capital city of Thailand. We are here to visit the new authentic weekend night market. And in order to get the old historical vibe, we decided to dress up in Thai traditional costumes. So guys, let's go travel back in time and see what this place has to offer. Let's go! Yeah! <laughs> This is butterfly pea juice. It's really hot today, so yeah, that's how we're gonna start our video. This market is so authentic and cheap. The drink that I just bought only cost 20 baht. This shirt that I just bought look pretty. Look at how detailed it is, guys. The main ingredient is not pandan, but the Thai watermelon, all right? I've never tried such dessert like this before. I'm so excited, but uh, sort of nervous because I thought it, it would taste like pandan, but smells nothing like it. So here goes nothing. Mm, not too sweet and tastes like Watermelon, like green. Watermelon is supposed to be red, right? <laughs> like green. Mm. And there is some like uh, sort of gems inside. It tastes similar to pandan, guys. And the way they make it, it's just too beautiful. And I got this only 10 baht. And it comes with a banana leaf bowl like this. So cute. <laughs> Crocodile meat! This is gonna be my first time trying crocodile meat, guys. Anyone? No. Nope. <laughs> I bought five sticks, so one of you gotta try it. Yeah? Come, go, okay. Play. Together. Crocodile meat for the first time. Cheers! Eat! <laughs> it's like not bad. Chicken. I was gonna say it's like beef. Ow. Beef or chicken? Oh, <laughs> Crocodile, I thought it was gonna be stinky. No, to me it's like normal beef. Yeah, because of the, the sauce, right? It comes with some vegetable as well, guys. This is not bad, this is actually really, really good, guys. Oh, I like it. Crocodile me got me wow. wow. <laughs> this one I give 10 out of 10. Must try. shop is so authentic there are so many kind of desserts and including the kids dessert as well you can do self-service just put whatever you like in this tray right let's do it what I like about this market is that the food vendors, some of them also dress up in Thai traditional costumes as well. I think I see less plastic bag in this market. So that's very nice. We got three sticks of dessert right here, 10 baht each. So first, let's try my favorite. Ta-da! In Thai, we call Tong Yot. My favorite, favorite, favorite since I was a kid. So it's basically made of egg yolk mixed with some sugar and more ingredients. I'm not sure what, but my all time favorite. Cheers! Mm. Mind you, this type of dessert is super sweet, but you just have to try it. This type of dessert has been around since Ayutthaya period, guys. And next is. And these are the roses, so it's like more, uh, more like a pandan jelly. In Thai, we call this kanom chan, but it comes in a flower form like this. 
Mm. Okay, so I just asked the owner. She said, Kanom Chan is made of coconut and mixed with some flour. They put in a flower shape like this, which is very cute and less sweet, all right? So highly recommend as well, guys. Ta-da! Pumpkin dessert! So this dessert is made of sweet pumpkin and in the middle, it's sort of like a sweet jelly as well, made of egg and sugar and topped with golden thread. I love it. I love all of it. And it's not too sweet again, which is amazing. Only 10 baht each, guys. Can you believe it? So cheers! Mmm! Yum! The dessert that this little girl is making is called Roti Sai Mai, which is Thai style candy floss. You wrap it up with the round flour. It's a signature dessert of Ayutthaya city. If you visit Ayutthaya city, it's a must try dessert. We're gonna come back and buy some home later. Ayutthaya style salad. In Thai, they call it yambok. All right, I've never tried this type of salad before. It's originated from here. All the plants, all, all the vegetables and the salad sauce, she planted them herself and cook it herself. From her own garden and from her own recipe. All right, I'm so excited. <sighs> Mm, spicy. Yum. Yum. No. Somebody wants to try it. <laughs> tap, tap, tap. All right. Yum. So it's Thai style salad. It's not that spicy, but like Thai style spicy. And there is the noodles, but me, right? Noodles, some minced pork, sausage, and a lot of vegetable from the owner garden. <laughs> so this is her vegetable, guys. Let's try it. Mmm. Yum. Yum. Delicious. So if you come to this market, don't forget to stop here at this shop and try Ayutthaya authentic salad. We're having a new subscriber. Street Wonder Channel. Go, go. Let's try the chicken. Guys, chicken! Oh, yeah. oh! Mm -hmm. It needs a little more spice. I will go add the chili paste later. Highly, highly recommend! Okay, do I don't know now. My sister doesn't talk. <laughs> Right behind me is the coconut ice cream. And look at the order. I need to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it. 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 I'
อยู่แล้วใช่ครับเท่มากชอบ You think he's cool? Let me know in the comments. So we have ice cream and the bread like this, and you can top by yourself right here. I like look shit and um some sticky rice. Oh. <laughs> wow. Alright guys, for those of you who didn't know this coconut ice cream, it comes in many forms. It's optional for you. Sometimes you can order with bread, sometimes a plastic bowl and sometimes with cones, alright? I order bread because it's my favorite as well and I don't think many of you know that you can have bread. So, let's try it. Nung Oh, yum! Let's let's try the look shit. Mmm, it might sound funny, but I think sweet sticky rice really really go with this type of ice cream, guys. I love it. อร่อยมากค่ะบวงมือให้กล้องหน่อยค่ะ It's so good. อร่อยมากค่ะ Ordering a river prawn, guys, and the good news is, well, my good news is, Floyd and Palm they're allergic to prawns, so yes, we we'll get to eat that all by myself, and I will share some to Patrick as well. <laughs> so they have two prices of prawn. This size is three hundred baht, and this one is six hundred baht. One is cooking inside there. It is cooking inside here. Hello. So this river prawn shop is at the end of the market, and I think it is the only river prawn restaurant here at this market, guys. So I got this guy for three hundred baht, right? So let's put the seafood sauce in. Whoa, it's gotta be spicy. And you know who's jealous of me? Mm -mm. <laughs> You're a loser, allergic to bronze, huh? <laughs> Let's try it, guys. Ooh. Ready? <sighs> mm -hmm. Fresh. Mm. I forgot to tell you guys, river prawn is another food that is the highlight of Ayutthaya city as well. So if you come to Ayutthaya, roti sai mai, the Thai style candy floss and river prawns are must try food, right? And this prawn is super duper fresh. I love it. And with the seafood sauce, Thai people call this sauce magic sauce because we eat it with almost everything, and it's just yeah, we we love spice and seafood sauce. And let's try the fat. Mm. Mm -hmm. Fresh. It's so so tasty. So all together become a very very powerful bite. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I would give this 9.9 .9 out of 10. So Ayutthaya Night Market is actually a weekend night market, guys. It opens from Friday until Sunday from 4 p.m. until 10 p.m. All right, it is located right next to Wat Ratchaburana. Well, I think you already know this temple because it is a super, super famous temple in Ayutthaya. So I recommend, guys, if you visit Ayutthaya during the weekend and you're already done visiting all of the temples around Ayutthaya, you can end your day here at this authentic market because as I walk along, everything is super cheap and you get to view this beautiful city scenery of Wat Ratchaburana. I love it and they have a rental, a Thai costume rental right
right in front of this market. Only 100 baht for this whole beautiful dress. 100 baht only, and they have costumes for guys as well. So. What are you waiting for, guys? I highly, highly recommend you to see this place ASAP. It's full moon, guys. So this is Toddy Palm in syrup, guys. Cost only 40 baht. My favorite dessert as well. And it names like my sister. <laughs> Palm Lupan. Ah. Mmm, fruity jelly. My favorite fruit. Not too sweet and super cheap. I love it. I love everything about this dessert. Mmm. Rock and die, rock and die. The only downside of this market is the music is too loud and I don't want to get demonetized. <laughs> Very sad. Okay, we're gonna buy this. Okay, And this is the owner. Bye bye, go to the Whoa! <laughs> So I just bought this in Thai we call Khao Kiap. Wow, all right, it's made of uh, wheat flour. Right here, this, this is the shop and they also sell uh, the fried insects and worms as well. If you'd like to try, they have it here in Ayutthaya as well, not just in Bangkok or Chiang Mai or Phuket. All right, so this is the wheat flour, my favorite dessert. It comes in a, like a huge shape. Hold on. Like, look. <sighs> It's, it's my all-time favorite Thai dessert. This type of dessert usually being sold at the beach, but I guess they sell it in Ayutthaya as well. Mm. So it's grilled flour, sweet and crispy. One of the authentic dessert that you have to try when you come to Thailand, all right? And I love the owner. If you visit this market, you will see the owner dressing up in a, like a proper Thai traditional warrior. <laughs> Very cool. I took tons of photos with him, so you will recognize him for sure when you visit this market. So guys, I would like you to see his tattoo right here. It's so cool. I will ask him what they are on his body, all right? So, so it's a Thai tattoo guys. If you're interested, this is the example. He's very cool. So as I mentioned that this temple is Wat Rajaburana. The good thing is it closes at 10 p.m. guys. So you got plenty of time to explore the market and you can walk inside this temple anytime you like. Good, good. Guys, this market is so romantic and we really feel like we have traveled back in time in Ayutthaya period. Dressing up like this, so lovely. And I really enjoy tonight, right? Yeah. Anything else you want to say? <laughs> so I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> this is my sis. Ah! <laughs> Sorry. In case you didn't know, this this little buddy here, she's she's my sister. You want to introduce yourself to the audience again? Hi, I'm Palm. <laughs> but this she's my real sister. We are seven years apart, but she's my height now, and you're still in college, huh? Yeah, I'm still in college. Yeah, seven years apart. You don't want to know how old I am. <laughs> All right, let's. Let's go see the temple. Look. So these flowers is made by this little girl right there sitting. Bye bye. <laughs> so the green part is made of uh, pandan leaf and in the middle is the lotus. Right, but I'm gonna I bought this because we're going to visit the temple and we're gonna take a lot of good photos with this.
bit of the history here, guys. As you notice that most of the Buddha images are beheaded. It is because of during Ayutthaya period, Burmese army attacked the city and that was pretty much the end of Ayutthaya era. And they, what they did was beheaded most of the Buddha images and burned the city to the ground. If you want to know more about Ayutthaya, please watch my other Ayutthaya video. I will leave the link down in the description. That's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed the unique, authentic night market here in Ayutthaya. If you think we did a good job, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!